Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. So before I get into this video, I just want to say that anything you guys choose to do from here is up to you. But remember, 0.2 Kyrie is a time 6 buffer that's going to be coming out. And she also has a bunch of buffs with her. So if you're close to 10 to 15,000 jewels, I would just stay there. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this guy with using your key arts. Now your key arts have to be guilted. I already showed a video, the previous one from this one, showing how to get it without uh, key arts being guilty. You just need two copies of key arts and you're good to go. In this one, for anybody that's guilted a key art, but they don't have a single target metal that's fully guilted, this is the way to do it. Now, again, don't go spending your jewels to try to guilt a key art just to make yourself have a good score in this high score challenge. There's no point to wasting jewels on this if you haven't already. And if you're planning to save for 0.2 Kyrie because you're only at like 10,000 jewels, then I wouldn't do this because 0.2 Kyrie, if it's a mercy pull, the jewels are better spent there than two pulls or more spent here to guilt a key art. So just remember that. If you're trying to guilt a key art just to do this and you're going to miss it on 0.2 Kyrie, don't do it. Or at least that's what my opinion is. Just, just. Try to balance out what you really, really need. So, I'm going to show you setups, how to get 12.5 million to get your reward using a different setup than I showed you before. Before I showed you, if you have a guilted Zaldin, you can do it. If you have a guilted Marluxia B, or Mar not Marluxia B, Marluxia A, or even Marluxia B, you guys can still do it. But let's say that, let's go into sorting. Let's look at metals that do one hit. So, one hit. That's the metals you guys want. You guys want. So, Undo everything, come to this part that says hit and click on one. So, any metal you guys see there, I'm going to put it to strength. Any metals you guys see here that do one hit is the ones you want to use. So, obviously, Marluxia B here, Zaldin B, you guys have... These are all the choices you guys can use. Hercules and Phil, you guys use Cerberus, you can use this guy, Master Xehanort. Very, very, very good high score challenge metal. Very, very strong. Because this is how you judge you guys. Look at his multiplier, a 4.28. Look at Zaldin B's multiplier, a 4.71. The higher the multiplier, the better. But you don't need that high. It's just higher multiplier, you do more damage. Especially with guilt. That's how it works. So go through your list. Click on every metal and look at their multiplier and look for the best one. So Marluxia A is another metal you guys can use instead of Zaldin B. On its own on Divine Rose. That works out. I've mentioned this many times. He is an alternative to using Zaldin B. It's not going to get you as much score. But when you're just trying to get the reward. It's good enough to do. If I had another dot on him and had him guilted. I would show you guys. But I don't. So I can't show you. But you just click on all the metals. Look at their multiplier. And look at the condition that it asks for. So a Rock Titan. Easy to use. Because all, all you have to do is have high HP. And 3.63. So... Just go through your whole list of single tar target metals and look for what's your best choices. Um, that's basically a lot of them. You can also use this, but this is going to guarantee you dying. So you better have second chance at defense boost 3s. Then you got other metals, but they're too low, 2.7. Now, the whole reason I'm telling you this, um, if you do have a Master Xehanort and he's not dotted, it's a 4.08. Just take that in. But the whole reason I'm telling you this is because your copycat metal is what's going to help you beat all this. So... The setups I'm going to show you is on the Proud Mode Keyblades. Um, the other Keyblades are too low to do this. So you do need one of these Proud Mode Keyblades to go with the key art you have. So I'm going to show you on the Counterpoint. You guys don't have to have the Counterpoint and you don't have to use Beginnings. Whichever key art you have guilted, use that. So if you have Beginnings fully guilted, go for it. And I don't mean fully guilted. Whatever one you have guilted, fully mirror it to 150%. Throw those chips on there and attack boost 3 max. Same thing with Key Art Sky. It just depends which one you guys guilted. Don't go crazy trying to guilt at beginnings because I'm showing you beginnings. Whichever one of your Key Arts are guilted, that's what you want to you do. So as you guys can see, the setup's the same for every single one. A buffer, copy the buffer, your Kyrie here, and then the metal you want to copy. Obviously, Zaldin B, if you guys don't have Zaldin B guilted, you can put Zaldin B there just to use him at, on your Key Art whichever one you have again i'm gonna use beginnings here it doesn't have to be beginnings but a couple things to take note of my beginnings it has a thousand strength ground enemy defense does nothing for your score general defense down is the least amount of score bonus you guys can get if it even gives any score bonus the thing you guys want to do is buff your strength you want to buff your psm 
and you want to buff your PSM defense down on the enemy. So, so when I say PSM, that means power, magic, or speed buffs or debuffs on the enemy. Using metals to say general defense down, that's not a good thing. It's not going to help you. It's going to help you kill them, but it's not going to help your bonus score. So that is not needed at all. Just because I have it doesn't mean you need it. All you need is a thousand strength to do a better score, but not to get 25, uh, 12.5 million. To get 12 million 500 thousand, all you need is the metal gilted. You don't need that thousand strength, and you don't need that negative 60. The thousand strength gives you more score, so you can be better than everyone else. So if you had two one thousands, you're going to get a better score than other people. But it's not needed. Traits are not needed to do this strategy. All you need is a fully gilted, chipped, and attack boost 3 max or 4 on your key art. Whichever one is your key arts. And then you need your med, uh, your keyblade obviously leveled up. You don't need a 27 counterpoint because I was trying to go to a 2.7. But it's still a ways away and I don't want to waste that much magic gems because I don't need to at the moment. So again, your friend rear... Counterpoint or Sleeping Lion. I wouldn't want to use the Sleeping Lion because of 2.7 or the Fenrir. But these key arts, they're not fully guilted yet. And I have no more Attack Boost 3 maxes to throw on them. I do have Attack Boost 4 max, but I'm still deciding where I want to put it. And the same thing here. The only reason I'm not using this, he is fully guilted, is because he's my rating metal. And I'm not going to throw Attack Boost 3 max here and just erase it with another Lux Plus later because it's a waste of skills. Or I would have showed you this setup. Alright, so enough of explaining all that, here's what you guys want to do. Any metal you guys want, you go ahead and put on here. Any metal that says does a single hit, put on there, but remember, it's got to be a high multiplier. So 1.6 is not going to cut it. You need at least a 2.8 or higher multiplier to do this. Now, if you guys don't know how key arts work, key arts copy the metals. So let's say you see this key art here. This key art's not going to keep this multiplier, it's not going to keep this skill, and it's not going to keep its attribute. What it's going to do is become this metal, but not with 100% guilt, it's going to have 150% guilt. So you're basically going to take any metal that you have and turn it into a guilted metal. So this is basically here, but at 150%. Alright, so now that we know how the key art works, Grab whatever metal you guys want and let's bring it to the high score challenge. So for this example, I'm going to use Marluxia B. Actually, I have pictures of Marluxia B. This one's here, Marluxia B. I got 12.5 million. In this picture here, I used Master Xehanort right here. And in this picture, I got 12.5 million. And it doesn't have to be the health regeneration trick. If you guys want to use a health regeneration trick, then sort your metals to one hit and use... Uh, reverse because Marluxia, Zaldin, whatever you guys have here that has a single hit, um, she's too weak, maybe 2.17. I haven't tested her, so I could be wrong. But you guys can see this is all your options here. You do not need the metal that you're copying to be guilted. But the more Dota has, the more, more multiplier has, the better. So if your Zaldin B is not guilted, then it doesn't matter. Just stick it in that slot, and it will be a guilted metal once the key art copies it. So, let's grab whatever we want. I'm going to show you guys how to do with Marluxia here. An AoE version. Or, you guys can do whatever you guys want. Just do single hitter, one hit, and just copy one of those. I don't even know what happened there. Let's do that again. There we go. <laughs> use the dwarves. The dwarves are the way. So, again, go through your list. You guys can use Hercules and Phil. Even if you don't have a Guilted, that 3.0 something multiplier is really good. But again, just grab the metal. Whatever metal that has the highest multiplier, single hit, and put it right before your key art on the keyblade that you guys are using. So let's go into the level, enough of the details, and let me show you how this works. Now, that new score you guys see there, the 12.662, is using Master Xehanort. And it was just going to the level and showing you exactly how I do all my run-throughs. Buff as much as you can, and use your kill metal on every single enemy. And I did this without restoring HP. And the one that I did restore HP, because it did have a smaller multiplier, a 2.89, I did use the regeneration path, which might net you more score even if you use the same attribute or opposite attribute, just because the health regeneration gives you a bigger boost of score, so it might be better to take like your Hercules and Phil into the magic route. But I'll test that out after. For now, let me just show you a run-through using this. 
Now, to guarantee the 12.5 hundred thousand, the 12,500,000 score to get the reward, you want to use a 21% medal so you don't have to do a perfect run. But if you want to do a perfect run with a 14% medal, you can. But this is going to be a perfect run. You guys have to do it. It's going to be a little bit more than 12.5 million, so it doesn't have to be super perfect, but you're going to have to get all those health regenerations to go off. But to make it easier on everybody, if you do have a 21% friend medal, 49% guarantees a 12.5 just by clearing the stage with the proper buffs. All right. So just remember, the medal that you're copying, you're not going to go into the power route because your key art beginnings or key art, whatever you're using, you don't go into the opposite. You go into the one that you're copying. So since I'm copying Marluxia B here, I'm going to go into the magic route. If you're copying Hercules and Phil, go into the speed route. That's how it works. The metal you're copying is the metal you guys want to go into. So I'm going to go straight into the big guys here. Um, I'm not going to go for health regeneration. I'm just going to go for trying to get my survivability on the two biggest enemies first. Because everything else after that is totally easy. So let's lower my head here and show you exactly what I'm going to do. So <clears throat> since Marluxia B is not a strong metal uh, to take these guys out in one shot because it's a 5.7 multiplier... Or, you know what, I shouldn't have went here because his effect is inflicts more damage and more enemies to feed in the stage. So, let's back out and let's go kill all the small enemies first for Marluxia B. This is totally going to be irrelevant when you guys use other metals. But to have the best strength possible with Marluxia B, you have to kill a bunch of enemies first. And I forget the number, but let's just go in there and clear the smallest enemies first and then go higher. So, right here, we can do full buffs because our metal is AoE. So we're going to go buffing and keeping as many guys alive as we can. We can't use this, so we'll just knock out one with the smallest HP. And then the other one with the smallest HP, which is up here. So that leaves two of these guys left. And now I'm going to use my key art to copy my Marluxia, which basically becomes Marluxia, but at 150% guilt. So right there, 86,399 off the bat. And if, the, if you guys have counterpoint... At like a higher level or your friend rear or your sleeping line at a 2.8 multiplier the score will be even better than that so let's just keep killing the beginning enemies and buff as much as we can i believe these guys if i buff too much i'm gonna kill them so let's try to get away with doing one buff there and then just tapping over here tapping over here and then he's got the most hp see if I did too much, I did too much there. I shouldn't have buffed. I should have just tapped and used Marluxia. So I'm going to miss a little bit of score here, but it's still going to be enough. I'm pretty sure. So let's just keep clearing these guys out. I believe double buff is enough here, but I can't use Kyrie too. I got to swipe and swipe again, and it's just enough to survive that guy. So there you go. This guy gets taken out. We are low on SP, so I'm going to grab some chests before I hit these apples over here. But this is basically what you want to do is buff as much as you can. And just go at it. Now I can't use Kyrie again. The second Kyrie, mine's guilted. If yours is not guilted, you can use it. But mine does 15,000 damage. Where some of yours are going to do like 3,000 to 6,000. Depending where you got it. But we can. We can buff here. So I'm going to buff right here. I'm going to do another times 3 buffer. This Kyrie is going to tap on this apple here. And hopefully this swipe's not. This swipe might be enough. But I'm going to swipe here. Alright, everybody survived. So a swipe was good enough because I'm pretty sure a tap would have killed them. Swipe does less damage. But there you go. Time 6 strength buffer on those guys. And we do the Marluxia attack with copying from Key Art. So we're looking good. We're at 1,572,000. We're low on SP, but that's alright. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to buff. Buff again. I'm going to use my Kairi here because I need the SP now. And again, mine does too much damage, but yours shouldn't. I'm going to swipe here and then just use Marluxia attack again with the key art because that's the whole point of this. You're not going to use your actual metal that you're copying. You're going to use the copycat metal. So now that we did all that, the more enemies beating the better. We're going to keep going through the lowest ones. And I'm pretty sure from just like the first group and the second two, three wizards, that should be enough. But I'll look it up after. You guys can look it up how many enemies you have to kill to get a good buff. I mean to use his highest multiplier. Marluxia B's highest multiplier. Or if you know in the comment section, let everybody else know. I should have done some research, but I wasn't really thinking about that. So, 
This doesn't qualify for any other medal though. Every other medal you can go straight to this guy and you're good to go. But because Marluxia B does more damage the more enemies I kill, this is why I'm doing it this way. But any other medal you copy, you just want to go straight to these guys to take them out. So we're obviously going to go for full buffs here. Even if I activate my Marluxia B here, my own Marluxia B, it's not going to do anything. It's going to do one damage. The whole thing is this metal right here doing the damage. Now, the issue here is that they both survive, but that's fine because we can actually, with this strategy, let the wardrobe regenerate HP and we're going to get score off that. So any metal you guys use, if you take this route, regenerate the closets because they're the easiest ones or the wardrobes because they're the easiest ones to regenerate HP. All you have to do is hit them at a certain HP and then they'll regenerate their HP every single time. But our issue here is that what they're gonna we're gonna get killed. So we're gonna try to sleep one of them. Sleep's not necessary, but second chance is. So we're gonna need either sleep or second chance. Now I need second chance to proc here to continue this. I do have second chance two on here. It's gonna activate because it's like an 80% chance with all my skill perks. So now we're good because our Marluxia B is an AoE. I'm gonna take both of these out. So you saw the wardrobe actually restored HP. That's gonna give me more score because of that. And this is basically going to take them both out using this attack. And if it doesn't, use your Nova to clean up. The more Nova you have, the better. And there you go. It's got a little HP. All your Nova has to do is 22,000 damage. If you use the same exact setup. 22,000 damage. It doesn't have to do how much mine did. Just 22,000. Now, same thing for this guy here. I'm going to use double buffs. And then I'm going to use my Marluxia B. And that should be enough. Not my actual Marluxia B, but you know, the key art. I'm going to use my beginnings here. It shouldn't kill them because the multiplier is not that high and the buffs are not that much. It's just enough. Do not put him to sleep if you have sleep. There you go. He restores his HP. He might kill me. So again, I have to rely on second chance too. It does activate or defense boost. You guys need a little bit of mixture of both defense boost and second chance too. That's just for these two groups here. So now we're going to go for the full clear. Now we got his HP restored. That gives us more score and that guarantees us that 2.5 or that 12.5 score to get all rewards. So now we should be around 10 million, which is really close. And I think we cleared everything except for those guys right there. I'm pretty sure. All right. So let's do the dark plants. If the dark plant restores its HP, it's great. You guys can actually do that as well, but it has the least chance of restoring its HP. It takes a lot or a lot of retries. So if anything, don't worry too much about it because you're going to see right now, I'm going to hit a really good score just by taking all these guys out. So full buffs, Marluxia B takes all three of them out, one hit, so we get a really perfect score. I actually beat my score. I beat my score and I didn't do this properly because I killed one of the other enemies. But there you go, 12,737,000. Again, that thousand strength helps on my beginnings, but it's not needed. You guys can hit 12.5 easily if you do this properly. Um... I'm just going to use my 0.2 Kyrie here because swiping her is going to kill her off anyways. Or kill the Heartless off. But there you go guys. 12,750,000 copying a single hit medal. Now, like I said, Marluxia B is an AoE medal. So it's a little different when you're doing it this way. So I'm going to show you a single target medal on a different one that doesn't restore HP. This only worked at this low multiplier because we're using the Magic Root. And the Magic Root has a lot of enemies that restore their HP. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me just do one more run with you guys, show you another one, and then you guys can explore your medals and do it the way with whatever medals you have. You have Hercules and Phil, copy Hercules and Phil. You have Marluxia A, Carpy, Marluxia A. My throat's really going, I don't know why. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to do back to equipment. This works for any metal, guys. Any metal you guys want to do, it works. You just got to do the proper way. So we're going to go look for... Right here, Master Xenor. So, with him, he does have a point two better, but if you guys want with a single one, I'm gonna show you. This is probably gonna turn out better. This one doesn't have any level. The less level your copy metal has, the better. That way it doesn't do any damage to the enemies. This is a perfect example I'm gonna show you. This has no dots in it, it's not guilted, and it has a 4.08 multiplier. So this is the setup we're gonna use, and we're gonna go into the power route. So now I'm going to show you how to get 12.5 million. Again, here's a picture. I already got 12.5 million with the setup, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyways. 
So 28% again Maleficent Dragon B or sorry not even B Maleficent Dragon does help the score but it's not needed. If you do these runs perfectly you guys will get that 12.5. You just got to keep doing the RNG over and over and over especially when it comes to health regeneration. So let's try to go through as much as we can here. Um, obviously we can't buff as much as we want like with Marluxia because it just doesn't turn out the same. Because it's not AoE, it's single target. So we are going to miss a lot of score because of that on the beginning, guys. And when I say a lot of score, it's not a lot of score. It's just a little bit. So hopefully Kyra doesn't kill here. It does. I want to do like an activation of the key art because it only costs 2 SP, but that's alright. So here's a little run through what I did. Um, before I was doing a whole bunch of different setups. But the best way to do this one, if your Kairi doesn't have 15,000 damage, to just activate your Kairi 2, this one right here, every single time. But because mine has 50,000 damage, I can't. But this is what I can do. Time 6 buffer, kill this one, and then just tap on one. Now these watermelons have really low defense because they also debuff themselves. So it's really hard to use a bunch of different skills on them. But if you're careful enough, you guys can pull it off. Now because one is dead, I can actually use this carry on both of them. Because they have more than enough HP to survive all of it. So the more buffs you guys use on all the enemies the more score you guys are going to get. So just make sure you buff as much as you can and activate your main damage dealer on every single enemy if it's a single hitter. If it's an AoE metal like Marluxia or Hercules and Phil, then you just got to activate and you're good to go. So he's still alive and full buffs. So we kill two of them full buffs, one without full buffs. We miss a little bit of score, but again, it's still enough for 12.5. So I'm going to try to skim my way through here to get to the hardest ones because second chance is needed or defense boost. I'm going to show you why. Now I forget how to do this one exactly because if I use too much buffs, I'm actually going to ruin the, the whole thing here. So I'm going to use one buff on this guy, tap on him, tap on him again. I can't tap on him anymore, so I'm going to tap on the big dude and just activate on that little guy. So <clears throat> I'm trying to sneak in times 3 buffer on everything here. But I don't know. See, using a time speed buffer is too much. It's it's a little too much. But we're going to try it again. So I'm going to use a time speed buffer on this guy here. And then do it again over here. I can use carry, but I can maybe tap on this guy. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. So tap on this guy. I'm going to take out the big guy. So using a time speed buffer for the first kill is not a good idea. So hopefully we can swipe and let this guy survive, but I doubt it. I doubt this is going to work. One swipe, two swipe. Kyrie's very powerful. Yeah, there you go. And this guy, there you go. So I'm missing score there. I'm definitely missing score there. But the whole thing I want to show you guys is how to do it. And you just got to reset and try your buffs out. So for that group there, I can't use a time speed buffer just like the watermelon. I can't use a certain skill for all of it. But for this here, I can. Because this guy's all by himself. Now again, it's not about the metal you're using. It's the key art the key art has all the power you just want to copy a good attack metal so there you go one shot that guy and now here's the issue you guys would think let's take down the helicopter fleet first that's not the case the hammer paralyzes you all you gotta do is either put that helicopter to sleep or uh, defense boost twos or threes or second chance so you have many options but you guys want to take down that hammer first because if you leave the hammer live and he paralyzes you you're not going to be able to do anything. So let's try to put this guy to sleep. It goes to sleep. Perfect. We don't have to worry about second chance or defense boost. And we just finish this guy off. So I might not hit the 12.5 million in this. But again, I'll show you a picture of this setup doing it. You guys can see the Master Xenor there. I'm going to show you near the end. But it's very possible to get 12.5 with this. So he didn't die. Obviously, if you don't have a high enough Nova, you have to use sleep again or rely on second chance. So there's a little bit of RNG. But if your Nova is strong enough then you're okay. If your friend metal is strong enough, then you're also okay. But now let's just finish off the rest of the groups here. Now the Morning Star is another enemy that restores HP. So if you guys want, let's see if we can keep him alive. I haven't tried this, but I'm going to see if one hit here is enough to hit him, but not kill him. If it is, I waste a score. I waste a score there. I should have done full buffs. But if you do enough damage to him, you actually can get more HP regeneration which equals more score so let me just keep going through all this I haven't had much time to test everything but I did do full clears I shouldn't use that there was no point that's a waste of SP but I did do full clears and got to score 12.5 million before showing this to you so 
it's not like this doesn't do it. This does it. Trust me, it does it. So one defense boost activates it. I have a defense boost one on my on my character, by the way. Not defense boost two or three, so you don't need crazy skills. But you do have to kill every single enemy with full buffs to get this score. So I screwed up twice. I killed an enemy and I killed the Morning Star with L buffs. So that's a lot of score being uh, reduced. I'm missing like maybe you'll see. When I did this the first time. And I didn't try the whole Morningstar trick, but I know Morningstar restores HP, so you guys can try that. Or at least it does everywhere else. But if you guys, again, you don't have to restore HP, but it might help your score. Just make sure that you use buffs to finish off that, that uh, Morningstar. So we're at 11.1, and we got two enemy groups left. So even, without, even with screwing up on one enemy and the Morningstar, we might be able to do this still. And I believe these guys, I can go full buffs on... Both of them or one of them? I think just one of them. I'm going to tap there, tap again. Yeah, because if I use 0. Point, or sorry, if I use Kyrie 2, Tyree, if I use Tyree, then I totally would have took this guy out on this turn. That guy would have survived the first one I killed, but the second guy totally would have got killed right now by just using a buff or tapping. So since he's the last one and I don't have to worry about other enemies' HP, I can do that. Swipe here and activate full buffs so that's a full buff uh, kill on this guy so look at that score so far 12 million 121 thousand and we screwed up on the morning star and we killed one of the enemies down here so for this guy here i believe i can only time six buff and just swipe or that might be too much too no there we go we, we got enough because our copy metal is only level one so there you go guys that's 12.5 i'm pretty sure 12.5 if I didn't, if I killed Morningstar properly, or if I didn't kill one of those enemies by accident. But you guys can see this is possible. It's super possible. Again, here you go. I'm going to show you the picture. You guys see Master down there? He basically does, I mean, this basically does 12.5. I'm going to use a Kairi here and then swipe, whatever. Is that enough? No, it does not enough to show you, but again, there's the picture. There's the same exact setup. Uh, Kairi 2 with the Master Xehanort, you guys can see. 12.5 million easily using this setup and if I did it perfectly you could probably even get away with not using a 14 percent uh using a 40 percent friend metal if you guys can get the morning star to restore its HP so there's two examples explore guys go crazy if you have those key arts guilted try these setups up if you don't have them guilted and you only have enough jewels for a future mercy pole like you're at 10,000 12,000 then I would say it's not really worth spending your jewels and missing out on 0.2 carry just to get a chance at a time six buffer. This guy right here, Vanitas. So, all up to you guys what you want to do. I'm showing you another way to get 12.5 million. And also, these setups work really, really well for other strategies as well to compete in the high score challenge. But there you go. I'm 1037th place using that strategy with the one I just showed you. I got a better score, Marluxia B, out of all the medals, guys. But remember... Any metal you guys want has a single hit. Put him here. You might even get away with copying like a World of Final Fantasy Sephiroth or World of Final Fantasy. Whatever ones do three hits. You might get away with that as well, but it's a little more riskier. So just copy what you guys have. It does not have to be guilted as you guys can see. The metal you're copying doesn't have to be guilted, but the metal that's copying it has to be. So beginning, uh, sky, or bonds. And again, go to the appropriate keyblade to do that. So... Here's another way guys, 12 points or 12 million 500,000. This is another way to get the rewards. Hopefully this helped out. Let me know in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.